hello and welcome to this new video where you can install apache php mysql in your android phone first you need to install an app genu root debian from play store this is an app which will enable you to install any Linux application as a root user. Gino root Debian. After installing this app you will get a shell access from where you can install any Linux application. Now the app is installing. After the app is installed, if you open the app, it will extract few more files to actually configure everything. So wait for a while initially it will take quite some time to actually install and everything configure everything but it would worth the effort because after installing the lamp stack in your android application basically you can do any kind of web development after it is installed you will be given a shell prompt from where you can do any kind of Linux based activity so we would like to install the servers uh, the popular Linux command apt-get will be used First command we will like to update the ATP get. It will download and update any missing software. Now the software is updated. Next, I'd like to install the PHP 5 all the commands will be available in the description section of this video so don't worry you can always get the command It would ask for confirmation, so just type Y and press enter. After a long time, PHP 5 will be installed. So let's clear the commands. Next, we will install MySQL server. So apt get install mysql dash server press y and enter now you need to provide the root password of mysql confirm the password okay so php and mysql in is installed so now let's try in browser as we will move away from this genu root application we can't access the website 
through default port 80 instead we have to use port 2080 so if I go to the browser and in the address bar we will type the localhost IP address 127.0.0.1 column the port number 2080 if everything is correct then you will see this page that it works Apache server is running fine but that's not all the main problem is that uh, the GNU root has its own file system and we can't access that file system outside these apps so we need to change the default web root directory currently it is set in for triple w folder but if we need to access it outside that gene root application then we need to change this directory thankfully Genu root creates a new folder if we go to the file manager internal storage then this genu root this is a default directory for this application inside there is a folder named home this folder is accessible from genu root application as well as other applications so let's create a folder here and change the default root directory let's create a new folder www and then go to the application Juno root now if we go to the application from launcher it would create a new window see there is window 2 until now we have worked in window 1 so instead of creating new window we can easily switch to this application through notification bar we will show you later now going back to the changing default web root directory now the apache configuration file is located in etc apache 2 let's clear all the commands there you can find all the folders now we would like to change the configuration file in sites enabled folder default configuration file is triple w dash default.conf first copy this file to the home directory of chinu root folder now get back from this application and open any text editor file then open this default configuration file this is the file just we just copied here we would like to change few things first the default port would be 2080 then the document root would be home slash triple w then save it now 
now let's go back to the Juno root application from the notification bar we can go to this app directly now we are in the window one so then copy the modified file from home directory to the current directory which is sites enabled next would be to restart the apache server so that the default home directory is changed so service apache to restart okay if all goes well then it would try to load file from home slash triple w default page is no longer showing now it is showing a forbidden page that's because the home directory is not accessible outside the apache permission now we need to give that permission so let's go back to the terminal move one directory up then copy this apache 2.con file to the home directory so that we can edit it easily now let's go back to the droid edit open the apache 2 configuration file down below you can get this folder var triple w which will be changed to home triple w let's save it now we would like to create a test file let's create simple hello world application and save it into web root directory that would be chinu root home then triple w file name would be index.php okay now let's go back to the terminal emulator again copy apache 2 configuration into current directory restart apache server then go back to the browser and here we have it our hello world is now showing next would be to test the mysql connection which will work but why not install the php my admin and see that everything will work fine so get back to the shell type apt-get install php my admin and it will install everything now it is asking for configuring the php my admin so let's type y then i need to give the root password of mysql
I need to type the same password again and again now I need to choose the server we are using Apache 2 so let's type 1 okay so the PHP my admin is installed service Apache 2 restart back to browser refresh the page and there you have it so let's log in using the default root credential of my SQL and now you have full functional PHP my admin in your Android mobile so I hope you enjoy